Star Trek, the original series, The Devil in the Dark Mine Tunnel. Another man has his weapon drawn. Sam, who's there? Vanderberg enters with a lot of men. It's your release, Sam. All quiet, Sam. Didn't you see, didn't see a thing, Chief? Skirmitter. Nobody ever does. Whatever this thing is, it's already killed 50 people. I never realized before how dark it is down here. Vanderberg, stay on your toes, Skirmitter. Keep your things in your hand at all times, Skirmitter. What good will that do? You saw what happened to Edward Peel when he shot at it. How about those other people before the monster got them? Vanderberg, I'm sorry, Skirmitter. I know how you feel, but we've got to have guards. Skirmitter, okay, Chief. I'll do what I can, Vanderberg. Keep alert. If you hear anything or see anything, call in. Somebody can arrive in three minutes, Skirmitter. A lot of it can happen in three minutes, Chief. It's it truly in voice. It's on its way. Vanderberg, it's coming. Skirmitter, you think it could get here in the next four hours? Vanderberg, you'll be all right. The group leaves and the nervous Skirmitter paces. They will hear a scraping sound. He turns, looks and screams. Vanderberg and the others run back. Vanderberg, come on. In mere moments, they were already too late. Vanderberg, Skirmitter, like the rest of them, burnt to Chris. Captain's log, stardate 3196.1. Dress call from the Penguinian production station on January 6. Put in place to the long established company. Mr. Spot, Dr. McCoy, and I have been down to meet the chief engineer. Vanderberg, a massive head of Vanderberg 6. Of January 6. Vanderberg's office. Kirk, all right. Let's assume there is a monster. What has it done? When did it start? Vanderberg, about three months ago, we opened up a new level. Census gave us a newly rich penguin in reading. Lay penguin, whatever you want. Uranium, cerium, platinum. The whole planet's like that. It's a treasure house. Kirk, yes, we're, we're aware of that. If money conditions weren't so difficult, J6 could supply the mineral needs for a thousand planets. What, but what happened? Vanderberg, first atomic, alternate machinery, piece by piece, started to almost disintegrate. Metal began dissolving away. No reason for it. Our chemists were able to analyze a corrosive agent. Spock, I'm sure there's an answer. It's simply, they've not been discovered. Vanderberg, yes, it has. I don't know what this butchery monster is. But I know what he's doing. A machine maintenance engineer sent down a drift to repair the corroded machinery. He found him seared to a crisp. Kirk, volcanic activity. But there's no current road to current activity on this planet, Captain. Vanderberg is right. None. The first of deaths were deep down. But they've been moving up towards our levels. The last man died two games ago. Three levels below this. Kirk saying, when he burnt, McCoy, I laid his own body in Vanderberg. We kept it for you. There isn't much left. But Robert, you sh- will show you. McCoy and the guard leave. Isn't pretty. Kirk, do you post sentries, cards? But of course, Five of them had died, Kirk. Who else has seen this? Appeal entering, I have. Vanderberg, this is Ed Appeal, Chief Processing Officer Engineer. Could describe it. Appeal can't. A glimpse of it. It's big and shaggy. Vanderberg, Egg shot it. McCoy, oh, you mean shot it, Ed? Shot it. Shut out it. Appeal, no, I mean shut it. With this, hand freezer. Kirk, spark the feeling, fascinating. Appeal, go clean shot. Do you slow it down? Well, I made my report to the production and stopped. No, we will go into lower levels. Don't blame me. The Federation wants Pinkroom. We're going to have to do something about it. Kirk, that's why we're here, Mr. Vanderberg. Appeal. You're all pretty tough, aren't you? Starship, Phaser Banks. You can't get your starship down in the in tunnels, Kirk. I don't think we need to, Mr. Appeal. Mr. Vanderberg, we need a complete subsidence chart of all the drifts, galleries, and tunnels. Mr. Vanderberg, I need a complete subsidence chart of all the drifts, galleries, tunnels. Vanderberg, you get, you'll you get it. Spock examining a large globe from Vanderberg's desk. Mr. Vanderberg, what is this? Vanderberg, it's a silicon nodule. There are millions of them down there. No commercial value. Spock, but, but a geological oddity, oddity to say the least. Pure silicon? Vanderberg. A few trace elements. Look, we didn't call call you here to say you could collect rocks. Cut thank you, Mr. Venable. We need your complete cooperation. Bang uh, you have it. We're just you just find a creature, whatever it is. I've got a quota to cut meat. Come on, appeal. They leave and McCoy turn and comes back. Cut. 
Last number of tumbles doesn't make our hunting any easier, Doc. McCoy, assume it didn't burn to death. Not in the usual sense. Anyway, McCoy, Kirk is playing McCoy. Well, there are only fragments of bone and teeth left. The plant's police physician agreed with me. Chemical corrosion, just as it had been thrown into fat, extremely corrosive acid. Kirk, strong enough to eat machinery. McCoy, strong enough to eat anything else that you can think of. Spock, Kirk, Mr. Spock, Spock, at the mine camp map. I took the position of death to act as have charge. Here, here, and here. The times of these instances are to be accepted as accurate. The creature would have to move at an incredible rate of speed. Kirk, Mr. Vanderbilt, your recent, how recent are these dead tarts? Vanderbilt re-entering. It may last year, Kirk. The only appearance of whatever it is. Vanderbilt, that's right, Kirk. I see, Miss Spock. Give us a port of life beneath the surface. Within the range of your sense, our senses, there is no life. Only a kind of a human residence on this colony. The surface, at least, no life that we know, we, as we know it. Kirk, we can't cover tunnel by tunnel by foot. We must get production going again. We must have that palladium. Spock, well, you could force another appearance of this creature, Vanderbilt. Well, and what, when that creature appears, men die. As if to prove his point, the god outside the hot power part is killed. There's a vaguely man-shaped stain on the ground and whispers of smoke. leads us a neat circular pole. In a door he was guarding, cut too many tunnels. We can't possibly. Miss Spot, our senses can pick up normal life functions. Considerable distance. But what about uh, light, uh, normal life functions? Just then the lights flicker and the sounds, alarm sounds, Vindberg, something is happening in the rect- reactor room, fair to a tunnel outside the reactor room, Vindberg, back to the hill stations, look at that, he goes for the hole, cut, look, goes for the hole, cut in the door, but I couldn't touch it, Captain, extremely active, corrosive, traces may linger, Vindberg, cut, quickly, reactor room, they stop through carefully, Vindberg, May settling pump up for the entire reactor is gone. But the same indica- indication as shown in the door, Captain. A very strong corrosive. Kirk, is there a replacement for that? Never no, none. It's outdated. We never had any trouble with it. Kirk, Spock, on board. Kirk, Spock, nothing for a device this antiquated, Captain. But anyway, what about, without the pump mechanism, the reactor will have to be ghost to the critical. It could poison... Half a planet, we can't shut it down. It proves heat and air and life support for all, all colony. Kurt, Mr. Spock, we seem to have been given a choice. Death by fixation or death by radiation poisoning. Bridge, Scott. A PXY pentagram reactor? No, sir. We don't have any spare calculating co- pump. So I've been pumped a thing like that. I haven't seen a PXK for 20, 20 years. Reactor room. Kurt. Can you rig one up? It's vital. Bridge. Spock. Well, sir. I put one together some odds and ends, but it won't hold for long. We had to room. Kirk, how long? Kirk. Spot. 48 hours, maybe. With a luck. Kirk, 48 hours is better than nothing. Go on what you need to be down here with it. Bridge. Cap- Kirk. Top priority. Scott. Aye, Captain. We had to room. Scott. I'll be right down, Scott. Out. Vanderbilt, what happens when it breaks down, Kirk? Hopefully we'll have to find the missing part by then. Vanderbilt, hopefully, so all chance. Kirk, we have to, Chief. The alternative is to evacuate all the people up to the Enterprise. A dozen planets depend on your pentagram and for the reactor. They are already screaming, reactors closing down, life support systems. Vanderbilt are concerned with people right here, Kirk. They've been murdered. You'll find them once that fence don't kill it. Benham's office spot. The missing pump wasn't taken by accident. It was one piece of equipment absolutely essential for the operation of the reactor. Kurt, you think the creature is trying to push the colonists off the planet? Spot, it would seem so. Kurt, but why now, Mr. Spot? The protection facility has been in operation for 50 years. But I don't know, but there is a possibility. It goes over the silicon nodule in the desk. Kurt, what's that? Spot, life as we know it, the universe is based on some correlation of carbon convoys. What if life is this based on another element, for instance, silicon? Look what you're creating fantasies, Mrs. Spock. Cut not necessary moments. I've heard of theoretical possibility of life based on silicon. Silicon-based life would be, could, would be of a totally different order. 
possible that our phases would not affect it. But certainly not a phase of one which is far less powerful than phase of two. Kirk, all right. Now, how about this? A creature that lives deep in the planet below us is home in a solid rock. It seems to me that in order to survive, it would have to form, have some form of natural armor plating. Kirk, but it would explain much, especially since the goddess armed only with phase of one. Kirk, but our old people have phase of number two. Kirk, but. Which they could adjust to be more effective against silicon. McCoy, silicon by the life is so psychologically impossible, especially in an oxygen atmosphere. But it may be, Doctor, but that the creatures can exist for brief moments in such periods in such an atmosphere before turning to their, its own environment, McCoy. I'd like to still think of your imaginary things, Kirk. You may be right, Doctor, but at least it's something to go on. Mr. Spock, have Lieutenant Commander Grito assembled a security team, troops, and there are them with phase number two. You make the proper adjustments, you seem fascinated by this rock. Well, yes, Captain, we were called available commentated. There are thousands of these, low level. A low rates of machinery op- opened just prior for the first appearance of, these, of the creature. Kirk, do they tie in? Spock, I don't know. Spock, Kirk, speculate. But I have, already, I have a given, already given Dr. McCoy significant cause for amusement, further to concentrate possibilities for time. Kirk, a short time, Mr. Spock, we have very little. Reactor room, Kirk. How's it going, Scotty? Scott, well, sir, if it's a plumber's nightmare, got, but I got hold of it for a bit. Kirk, it has to hold longer than a bit. Kirk, Scott, sorry, sir. That's about the best I can do, but I guarantee he's not good enough. Kirk answers calm and beep. Kirk here, Spock, Captain. The security guards are gathered. Officers gathered in Chief Vanderbilt's office, Kirk. I'll be right there. Kirk out, Scotty. Well, I heard on it. Kind words, tender, loving care. Kiss it, baby. It flatter it, if you have to. But keep it going, Scott. I do want to cancer. Vanderbilt's office. Six red shedded men are lined up. Kirk, you will proceed from level one to level, checking over every foot, every opening. For you are searching some sort of creature which is highly resistant to phase of fire, phases that will be set on maximum. And remember this, 50 people have died, and what normal death men will set the body, that, the better body thing. Kirk, the creature may or may not attack on sight. What you must do is vitally important. To get this insulation back into production. But, Mr. Vanderberg, may I ask at which level you discover the nodules of the silicon? Vanderberg, the 23rd. Why? Commander Greta, make, take your details. Go directly to the 23rd level. Start your search there, Greta. Aye, aye, sir. May I ask if you have reason to suspect this creature may be on the that level? Kirk, in one other possibility we discussed to Vanderberg. I want your people to stay on the top level together. A safe place, Vendor. I don't know any safe place, Captain. Maybe things comes and goes, Kirk. Well, gentlemen, you have enjoyed structures. Let's get at it. Tunnels. The Starfleet people walk carefully along, woefully. Wonderfully smooth floors with just the occasional piece of equipment strewn around. Pop stops to see, uses trigraphs in a section and tunnel wall. Kirk, Mrs. Pop, find something. Spock, adjusting my trigraph to the register for silicon. Captain, interesting. Pop, traces. Spock, a life form, Captain. Bearing 118 degrees, elevation 4 degrees. Kirk, one of our people? Kirk, Spock, no, sir, silicon. Kirk, come on. Security team are gradually split up, cover the all different tunnels. A young blonde lad that manages the screen for meeting his fate. Doc, we've never seen, even had a chance to fire, Captain. Kirk, it's only been seconds since we heard the screen. The creature must still be around, Spock, Captain. Spock, what is it? Spock, this tunnel. A ring is located made within an hour, moments ago, in fact. Kirk, are you certain? Spock, that positive. Kirk. The tunnel goes back as far as the eye can see. I bet you you couldn't cut a tunnel like this. The only phases. Spock, indeed, Captain. I've got a loss. They turn to see the atmosphere. Both fire with phases on it. 
The shaggy creature shuffles off back into another of its not its nice circuit ch- ch- channels and vanishes cur- gone. What disappeared and astonishing as that anything that bulk could move so rapidly cut Kirk. These walls are hot, Kirk. Spock indeed, this tunnel was cut within the last two a minutes. Grotto and the other security men arrive. Grotto, are you right, Captain? Kirk, yes, perfectly. Grotto, do you see it? Do you see it, Kirk? Yes, we saw it. Where does the tunnel go, Spock? Readings indicate a maze of tunnels. It's general category in that direction. Grotto, did you shoot at it? Kirk, yes, but we took a bite out of it. Yes, we took a bite of it. Kirk picks, Spock picks up the piece of armour that cut off this creature. Kirk, it's not animal tissue. What is it? Spock, the closest proclamation I could come up is Fabius Abrestus. Material, Captain. Kirk, then your guess was right, Spock. It must, it seems so. Silicon base. Kirk, summation. Spock, we're dealing with cynical creature of the deep rocks. Keep on moving through sodding rock as easy as we move through the air. Cut. Where would account for the tunnels? Spock will correct. This creature's secret body secretes extremely powerful corrosive. Cut. Powerful enough to dissolve the door of the reactor chamber? Spock. And it explains the murder man. Cut. You're definitely phaser resistant. We had our weapon set for silicon, all full power, yet we only damaged it. It still lives? Grotto, you mean it's possible to kill? Kurt, no. It must require, it might require mass phases, Kurt, Buck, a single phase of much longer contact, contact. Kurt, commander, pass this on to your men. We knew it was a killer, now it's wounded. Probably in pain, whatever it is back there. There's nothing more dangerous than a wounded animal. No, no, Grotto. Struck your men to concentrate the search on this sector. Remind the cr- that creature is wounded. Grotto, aye, aye, sir. Lee's Kirk. What is it, Mr. Spock? Spock, they run a complete spiritual check on all rifles. Raised 100 yummy miles. They located all men. All of them are located one creature moving rapidly through a native rock. Raised 201. And that is all. Kirk, one creature in a 100 miles? Spock, exactly. So, Captain, there's literally thousands of these tunnels in this general area alone. Far too many cut by one creature on an ordinary lifetime. Cut, then we're dealing with more than one creature, despite your tricultural readings, or we have a creature with extremely long lifespan. Look, all the last of the race of the creatures which made these tunnels. So, if it is the only survivor of a dead race, to kill it would be a crime against science. Kirk, Mr. Spock, your mission, our mission is to protect this colony. Get the program moving again. It's not the zoological explanation. Maintain a constant reading on the uh, creature. After we use phases to cut down our, 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 our own tunnels, we try to surround it. I'm sorry, Mr. Spock. I'm afraid the creature must die. But I see no alternative, Captain. It seems, me seems a pity. A search team is gathering on the main tunnel. Kirk, good. Main tunnel, Gretel now has seven red shirts with him. Kirk, so it's wounded. Therefore, the race is dangerous. Stay in pairs. If you see it, concentrate your phrase of fire, which are, uh, what appears to be its head. Concentrate it. Maintain it. It's definitely resistant, but it can be hurt. If it can be hurt, it can be killed, Mr. Spock. Je- Spock, gentlemen, examine your charts, please. Another circulated creature now, here it might. Adrift 26, moving in the bearing 201. The particular group will move out beyond this, that area in all directions and effort to surround it and possibly capture it. Kirk, your orders are to shoot to kill. Protect yourself at all times. Commander Greta, first your safe service. Greta, aye, aye, sir. Louis, Vecini, take your men out. The red shirts leave. Kirk, Mr. Spock, capture it. I don't recall giving any such order. Spock, you did not, sir. I really thought that it was a true, uh, if the truly to your rose. Kirk, I will lose, no, I will lose all men. The creature will be killed on sight. And that's the end of it, Spock. Very well, sir. Kirk, Kirk Mrs. Spock, I want to assist you to assist Scotty and take the makeshift circulation pipe. Kirk, I beg your pardon, sir. 
Kirk, you heard me. It's vital we keep the reactor in operation, your sense of knowledge. Block is not needed for this, sir. Miss Block has far more knowledge of nuclear reactors than I do. You're aware of that. Kirk, Mrs. Block, your second in command. This is the, this will be a dangerous hunt. Even one of us, myself is, even, even one, one of us is, by, by myself is spendable. But both of us are not. But Captain, it's approximately 100 of us engaged in this search against one creature. Those against you and I both being killed at 2,000, 228.1 to 8. Kirk, 228 to 1 to 1. So 8.7 to 1. They're pretty good odds, Mr. Spock. Spock. Of course, quite accurate, Captain. Kirk, of course. Well, I hate to use a word, but logically, with the, these kind of odds, you might as well stay... But please stay out of trouble, Mr. Spock. Spock is always my, that's, is always my attention, Captain. The try, commuter beeps, commuter, commuter beeps. Kirk, Kirk here. Doc, Scotty here, Captain. A brilliant information. Just gave us a goat, gave a ghost. Couldn't, couldn't take, send a train, strain. Kirk, can you fix it again? Yet, uh, Scott, negative, Captain, it's gone for good. Main tunnel, Kirk. Start immediate evacuation of all colonists to the Enterprise. Reactor room, Mendeman. Not all of them, Captain. Uh, some of my key personnel. I and some of my key personnel staying. Main tunnel, Mendeman. We'll be down to join you, Kirk. We haven't had enough phases for you. Mendeman, Mendeman. Reactor room. Main tunnel, Mendeman. We'll be down to join you, Kirk. We haven't enough phases for you. And reactor room. Vanderbilt. They only really use clubs. We're not being chased away from here. We're staying. Man tunnel. Cut. Good. Get everyone else aboard the Enterprise. Few people have breathing the air down here. The longer the rest of us are able to hold out. How much longer, Scotty? Reactor room. Scott, the reactor will go super critical. About ten hours, sir. You have that long to find the mechanism. Main tunnel, Kirk. We do our best. Start feeding us. Constant safety support, Scotty. Benberg, you and my crew assemble at level 23. Check out. Checkpoint. Tiger. Kirk, out. Level 23. Benberg, appeal and three others are there. Kirk. Team up the employee security personnel. They're better armed than you. Keep someone in sight of all time. Benberg, take two men and go for the main tunnel there. Revenue is the command of the crypto. Appeal and arrest the men through there and tie up with Lieutenant Osborne's detail. Miss Buck and I will control the operation from the centre point. As all the cooks riders leave. Kirk. Mrs. Buck. Buck, Captain. We're being watched. Kirk. Are you sure? Intuition. Buck, no, sir. We're being watched. They start to move through the tunnels. Buck, Captain. Fresh reading for an hour. Within the hour of each of these tunnels. Kirk, the chart says both of these tunnels converge a few thousand yards further. You take left, I'll take the right. But should we separate? Kirk, two tunnels, two of us, we separate. Kirk walks off down a real tunnel with Spock as a hunched. As a hunched down to walk, move through the new, one of the new circular tunnels. For one, Kirk's tunnel becomes circular too. It opens an area with flat floor equipment. And critical nodules. Kevin, Kirk, Mr. Spock, Spock Tunnel, Spock. Yes, Captain? Kevin, Kirk, I found a new layer of these critical nodules of yours, hundreds of them. Spock, indeed, I find that most illuminating, Captain. Tunnel, Spock, but be yet see certain. You do not damage any of them, Kevin. Kirk, explain. Spock, only have, only a theory I have. We see something move as swoofable. Your rocks fall near Kirk. Tunnel, Captain. Buck, Captain. Are you right? Jim, Jim, Kevin. Kirk, yes, Mrs. Buck. I'm all right. You seem to have a cave in. Had a cave in. Tunnels, Buck. I would phase you out. I could phase you out. Kirk, no, no, you better not. Any stones might bring down the rest of the wall. Kevin, Kirk, besides, it isn't necessary. Charts said tunnels. Meet further on. Tunnel. 
But very well, but I find it extremely disquieting. Uh, your roof chose a particular moment to collapse. Previously, with extreme caution, I shall quicken my pace. Carry very well, Mrs. Bob. I meet you at the other end, just as then a pair of wool. Part of the wall vanishes, and a strange entity emerges. The pair, the stand of the creature approaching, the cut throws his phaser, and backing off when he phases it. Communicate beats Kirk. Kirk here. Tunnel. Spot. Captain. I just read some fresh signs, Tavin. But the creatures in this area. I take a life. I take a life from reading. Kirk is not sensitive, Miss Spot. I know exactly what the creature is. Tell him, Mrs. Greer, Captain. Kirk. Kevin. Kirk, ten feet away from me. Tunnel. Spot. Kill it, Captain. Quickly. Kevin. Kirk is not making any, any, any moves, Spot. Tell Kurt, Spock, you don't dare take the chance, Captain. But kill it, Kevin, Kevin, Spock, kill it. Kurt, I thought you were the only one who wanted to keep it alive, keep it, it kept alive, catch it if possible, Tunnel. Jim, your life is in danger, you can't take the risk. Tevin, Jim, it won't seem to be waiting, Spock. I mind you, it's a prim killer. I'm on my way, Spock out, Kevin, Kurt, sitting now. Well, what were we to do? Just talk it over? The creature seems to show its wound. For his last encounter, cuts but well, you can't. You can get hurt. You can be hurt, can't you? We we'll just sit here. If you reach on me, Spot comes running in and takes aim. Cut. No, no, don't shoot. Come over, Mister Spot. He does so. The squat by the captain. Spot, fascinating. Made no moves against you. Cut. Cut. He seems to be waiting. I, I try talking to it. It does not do any good. Cut. Spot paints the piles to the canoe wheels. Cut. Yes. They're through there here, all over the place. Thousands of them, Spot. Yes, I see. Kurt, does it mean anything to you? But possibly the answer, Captain. But I'm not certain, Captain. Are you aware of the Vulcan technique of joining to two minds, Kirk? You think you can get through to that thing? Spot, it's per- possible. Kurt, Mr. Spot, there is a terrible personal phenomenon of mental barriers. If there's a chance. But I'll try. He follows his phaser. About and move carefully approaches the worried creature. That touching it concentrates for a moment, and he cries out. But Kurt, pain, pain, he staggers back. That's all I got, Captain. Ways and ways of searing pain, it's in agony. The creature climbs into a rock ledge and etches letters into it. Kirk, no, kill. That's what, that's that. A plea for us not to kill? It, or promise that he won't kill us, Spock? I don't know, Captain. Evidently gained an immediate knowledge of us from my empathy with me. In brief contact with the creature's mind, I discovered its highly intelligent, extremely sophisticated animal. Great pain, of course, because of the word its wound, and it's not reacting at all. Like a wounded creature. It's called itself a hotray. Kirk, a hotray? A hotray, Mr. Spot? We need that reg- toleration mechanism. You must reach out to contact communications with it. Spot, Captain. It has no reason to give us the advice. Practically every reason for wishing us off this planet. Kurt, yes, I'm aware of that. We could only win this confidence, Dr. McCoy. This is Captain Kurt. Look, Dr. McCoy, yes, Captain. Kurt, grab your medical kit and come down here on the double. I've got a patient for you. Coy, is someone injured? What happened? Kurt, never mind. Just come down to 23rd level. You'll live, you will be led to us by tranquil reading. Kirk, out. Doc. Jim, I remind you, this is silicon based life, former life. Dr. McCoy's medical knowledge be totally useless. Kirk, he's a healer. Let him heal, Mrs. Bot. You must be, you, you must be telephone communications. Want to know why it suddenly took to murder? Bot, to obtain that kind of commission, Captain? We just need to touch it. Kirk, we've seen how the creature destroys. Kirk stands ready for his phaser. Spot carefully places his hands, the cribbing hotary. Kirk, Lieutenant, Commander Grotto, Grotto, Grotto here, Captain. Are you right? Kurt, perfectly right. Where are you? Level 23, Grotto. We're at the end of the tunnel, Vista Ven- Venberg. Your men are here. We're, they're pretty ugly. Shall I get, let them through? Kevin. Kirk, and the no is allow them in here yet. A minute Dr. McCoy gets there. Send him through. Tw- level 23. Grotto, aye, aye, sir. Kevin. Spot found under a thousand devils, eternity ends, chamber the ages that ate into the tomorrow. Murderers stop them, kill, strike back, monsters. McCoy turns, runs in. McCoy, what's the name of, name of, what is Spot doing? 
Kirk, it's wounded badly. You've got to help it. McCoy, help what? That? Kirk, go, take a look. McCoy kneels by the wound. Get to the tricorp work, Spock. It's the end of life. Murderers. McCoy, you can't be serious. It feels virtually made of stone. Kirk, help it. Treat it. McCoy, I'm a doctor, not a bricklayer. Kirk, you're a healer. You're not a patient. That's an order, Mr. Spock. Tell it we were trying to help the mechanism. Spock understood. It's the end of life. Attorney stops. Go out in the tunnel. The team of the ages call cry for children. Walk carefully in the vault of tomorrow. Sorrow for the murdered children. The thing you search for is there. Go, go. Sadness, sadness. The end of things. Go into the tunnel. There's a worst way. Quickly. Quickly cut uh, heads down the tunnel and the whole truck come, came out of it. Came out of level 23. Greta, the captain said, you have to wait here. Here, and here is where you wait, the pill. That murdering monster's in there. We're going to kill it. Greta, you're going to stay here. A chamber ages. Kirk emerges to the area. Feel the silicone nodules, both whole and broken. Kevin, McCoy in communication. That's right, Lieutenant. You best beam it down to me immediately. Never mind what I want it for. I just want it. Don't move, Spock, turning in the hole to me. It's time to sleep. It's over. It's failure. Murder's won. Death is unwelcome. Let it, let it end here. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Mr. Spock. Spock. Come out of it. I found the unit in there. It's in pretty good shape. I also found a million of these circle nodules. They're eggs, aren't they? Spock. Yes, Captain. Eggs. I'm about to hatch, Spock. The miners must have broken into the hatchery. The operation destroyed thousands of them. No wonder. Level 23, appeal. There, they're coming. He knocks out Goretto. The miners are part of the rest of the red shirts, clubbing them rigidly. Appeal, all right, all right. Let's go. We're on the road. Come on, Kevin. Kirk, how about, how are you doing, Doc? McCoy, is that, uh, I'll let you know. Mine's come around the corner. Kirk, don't fire. The first man that fires is dead. Wendelberg. Thing has killed 50 of my men. Kirk, you killed thousands of her children. Wendelberg, what? Kirk, that, those solid silicone modules you've been collecting and destroying, there are eggs. Tell them, Mr. Spock. But they've been here, but they, here they have been major issues of her on this planet. Every 50,000 years, a tired planet race dies. All but one, like this one. The eggs live. She cares for them, protects them. And then they hatched. She was the mother of them. Thousands of them. This creature here is the mother of a race. Kirk, the whole truth is intelligent, peaceful, mind. Mal, she's no objection to sharing this planet with you. So he broke into a nursery and started destroying her eggs. And she fought back the only way she knew how. As any mother would fight when her children were in danger. But then we didn't know. How could we? You mean, if those eggs hatch, be thousands of those uh, things crawling around down here? Kirk, that, that is why they, they, where they live. They digest rock, they tunnel for nourishment. Buck, and where, and they are the most offensive of creatures. They harbour ill, ill, harbour ill will towards no one. Appeal. Now look, we have a pendulum to deliver. Kirk, yes, I know. They're your circulating pump. You complain this planet is a numeral treasure house. You had equipment to get it at it. Gentlemen, the altar moves through rock the way we move through air. It leaves a tunnel. The greatest natural miners in the universe, it seems to me. We make an arrangement. Reach a mudrisk vidui. They tunnel. You collect the process. You resist for operation. Be a thousand times more profitable. But it sounds all right. If it works, but except for one thing, the hotel is badly wounded. May die the coin. It won't die. By golly, Jim, I'm beginning to think I can cure a rainy day. Kirk, can you help it? McCoy, help it? I cured it. Kirk, how? McCoy, well, a ship beamed down a hundred pounds of thermal contract. You know, the, the kind we used to build emergency shelters out of. It emerged very silicon. So they just churn it into the wound and act like a bandage until it heals. Take a look. Good news, Kirk. Well, Spock, I'm going to have to ask you to get in touch with me. We'll hold her again. Tell her her proposition. She and the children can do all the time they want. Our people will remove the materials and each side will leave the other alone. Think she'll go for it? Spock, it seems logical, Captain. Hotel has a very logical mind. Of the close succession of humans, I find that curiously refreshing. Bridge. Spock, ship ready to leave orbit, Captain. Course laid in. Uh, very good, Mr. Spock. 
Well, Chief of Museum Vodabo, ready if anyone can control by on Channel 1, Kirk, fine. Yes, Chief, Kirk here. Vanderbilt's office, Vanderbilt. Just when you tell you the eggs are just slightly hatched, Captain Bridge, Vanderbilt. First thing the little devils is to do is start the journal. Vanderbilt's office, Vanderbilt. Already huge new penal deposits. I'm afraid to tell you how much gold and palatium. The area of earth we've uncovered. Bridge, Kirk, I'm delighted to hear that, Chief. Level Mother Ho- once Mother Hota tells the kids what to look for, your people are going to get embarrassingly rich, but Vandenberg. You know that Hota isn't bad once you're used to their appearance. Vandenberg's office, Vandenberg. Well, that's about it, Kirk. Thanks for everything, Bridge, Kirk. I'll play the Chief Kirk out, Spot Curious. What Chief Vandenberg said about the Hota is exactly what the Mother Hota said to me. You've had humanoid appearance revolting. We thought you could get used to it. The quite oh, did she? She did, did she? Now tell me, what did did she happen to say any comment about those ears? But not specifically. I did get the distinct impression you found them the most attractive human characteristic of all. I didn't have the heart to tell her that only that only I have. Kirk, she really liked those ears. But Captain the Holt is a remarkably intelligent and said the creature with impeccable taste. Kirk, because they she approved of them? Are you? But really Captain, my modesty. Kurt does not bear a close condemnation, Miss Spock. I suspect you're becoming more and more human all the time. But, Captain, I see no reason to stay in there and be insulted. I see no reason to be staying here and get be insulted. Kurt, well, head, walk factor two.